Hi, I'm Pete Cannon and today we're in my studio in M4 North London. What I'm going to be doing is showcasing Sound Toys plugins which features the amazing effects rack which allows you to combine the Sound Toys plugins together to make for some incredible effects. I'm going to showcase five tracks in this demo and show how I use the plugins themselves on my buses, drums, bass and vocals. So let's get straight involved and have a listen to the tracks and the plugins. Okay, starting off with a pretty simple jungle track. I've got a riff from the modular up here, which is kind of like a strings thing. On that, we've got a phaser where the frequency has been automated. We've also got a drum group with two drum breaks on it. On that drum group, we have an effect rack here, which is, and I've chosen the fat bottom drums. Uh, at the top, there's a macro section here uh, where you can automate the mix which I think is really useful for just kind of like throwing the effect on and off. Really good for adding movement to your drums. If you want to set that up in Ableton, you just press configure and choose the button. So I've got the mix and the frequency here on the phase. So let's just have a listen to the intro and wait for the drop. You can hear as the automation kicks in and comes on it just adds a roughness to it to the drums and gives a unification what i've also got on the reese bass line is another effect rack and in that we have a decapitator and a filter freak this just tucks the bass line in with the grouped drum and this it gives a unification just quite a simple sound that i'm going for so let's have a listen from the drop again Smoking the dub, right on on the aiming. I've gone for another effect rack, and this time we've got the gate slap backer plus. This adds the radiator mixer in there, which gives it a push forward, and there's also an echo boy, which gives a great width on the Amen as well so that's added in there the vocal has an echo boy on it echo boy is just insane it's wicked you can uh, alter the saturation which i think is amazing in an echo processor take off the lows it's just it's really easy and again just better than any of the stock plugins i've been using and what i did is i duplicated the rap vocal and on the channel below, I used a little alter boy and I changed the format just to pad it out. So you've got this. Call me back in so we can smoke the dub. Call me back in. Underneath is also another one. Call me back in so we can smoke the dub. Putting the two together just gives a stronger signal. And if you wanted to, like, say, copy that four or five times, pan it, you could make big choral styles of vocal. You've got the drive there as well to push it. It's proper decent. idea really useful the effect rack for automation just giving life to drums what i was going to say is as well if you kind of just have a look at that original drum that i've got which is even though that's in a group it's got its own effect on it which is a boomy roomy from the effect rack this just pads it out and gives it width and room it just sounds amazing so if i put it without it it's quite nice but then again simple stuff but it just gives width to the break and then once that's in the group it sounds wicked so and add 
suggest, you know what I mean, going through the groups and just trying the different presets. Seeing what you like, I mean, it's always a great place to start because there's so many great presets and just working from there and doing your changes and see what you think. Let's just delete the automation so I can have a little play with some of these. And also these could be used in parallel, do you know what I mean, on an auxiliary and be, could be bloody useful for stuff like the crush. That's wicked. You know, if we have a little look here, just look at all these and I go straight to the drums. So there you go, simple stuff just for a jungle track, adding effects onto the group. Let's go and have a look at another track from here. Okay, another little idea. I've got a drum break and this time I've loaded in the devil lock on it. Uh, the junk in the trunk preset and alter in the crunch. So let's hear the break before we add it on. And then if we put it on, it just tucks it in. And then I wanted to add an echo boy as well. What I've done is I've automated the echo time so it kind of shifts as it goes through. So check this. Really cool. And underneath, this is just a quick loop and an idea. So I've got a bass, which is an 808. Sounds like that, but if you, again, I've put Devil Lock on it, which completely tucks the bass in, mats it out, really crushes and crunches it, and as I say, you can play in the darkness, whatever you need to do. Then put with the break together. vocal at the top bad boy and again we've used the echo boy on that this time i've gone for oil can and as you can hear just check it out like that bad boy. that sounds great we've got the low cut taken off it's quite a heavy mix each side on the echo is just slightly changed i think we put the saturation bad boy. Bad boy. Bad boy. let's do that and then quite a bit more feedback bad boy bad boy Bad boy. You can hear that on the saturation, that's great. Bad boy. Yeah, so then you put those together. Bad boy. Quickly add a string in as well. I've added an echo boy to this. Bad boy. There you go, let's have a listen to another one. Okay, we've got another little jungle track here, and what I've done is I've used the effect track this time to filter the breakbeat down, what you would maybe do on a breakdown. And so it's automated off as the tune drops, and it just gives a, a good bit of atmosphere. So let's just have a listen to this from the start, and you can see that it's been automated on and off. Check this out. <laughs> So it's just really useful for breakdowns. I really like the way that it's filtered the drums there. And also on the Amen, I've got an Echo Boy, which gives an extra bit of width again. So if we just have a listen to this. It just adds great space to the breaks. And again, just taking the low out and pumping up the saturation. So let's have a little listen.
okay, a breaksy type track here. I've got a think break on four different channels and on each channel I've got a different effect track. So it just switches up the break as it goes through on the loop. I've got a sub as well and a little bit of 303. So for each drum break, you can see as it switches through, it has a different effect. So let's just start it here. I really like the first one, how it sounds. Whoa. I mean, I'm, I'm into that, so let's just see what was put on that. Against two Echo Boys. Take it off. So, alright, the two Echo Boys. Instantly done. I'm in. So you got the tremolator there, just switching between the brake and a bit of the decapitator just pushing it as well. The sparkle sequencer. Now for a bit of 303. And on that there, we've got the micro shift, primal tap, echo boy. It just adds a thick bit of chorus on it. Sounds bad when it comes back in. Yeah, so I guess this one's just showcasing how you can just use different effects to keep an arrangement interesting, switching different effects racks between drums and whatever you're going to introduce. Again, it's a very simple idea, but just showcasing that. Right, so I've got another jungle track here. This one's produced with Dward, absolute dark aim and business. Let's have a little listen. <laughs> Okay, so let's have a listen to the Amen and what have we got on it? Again, an effect rack, and uh, this has got the Devil Lock and the Echo Boy combined together, which just makes the Amen sit in the mix a little bit better. If you ever listen to it without it, and then we put it on, just pushes it forward in the mix. So we've got a string there, and that's out of the Amiga that's been loaded into a simpler in Ableton. Crunchy, and that's got a little plate on it. Again, it has a parallel mix button, so you can add the reverb in. And yeah, some of the presets on there are amazing. The extreme one, let's have a little look out of space. See a huge decay on it. There you go. Really useful for automating into breakdowns and again, just adding huge space. So let's go back to a, a perfect plate. That's cool. Let's have a listen to the next part of the track. It's a pretty dark one. This. So again on the string, I've used the devil lock just to push it in the mix and the primal tap, simple dirty warp delay sync. Again, just adds a bit of flavor to it. So there's a little vocal on this drop as it comes through, it's chopped up. Let's have a listen to the drop.
brilliant. Chopped up vocal there. And on that, we have the effect rack with a bit of the decapitator, uh, the EQ, and the echo boy. I chose one of the vocal presets in here. As I've, as I've said before, there's quite a lot. I went for the vocal sweet source and totally lifted that on the drop. Let's have a listen to it without it. Massive. Okay, so, yeah, let's have a listen to the final bit of the track. And there we go. Shout to Sound Toys for making the banging plugins. I shall be using these definitely on future projects. Absolutely love the effect rack. Thanks for watching.